we, we lost more in combat than the Marines did, believe it or not. We lost killed in action, 26,000, 26,000. When we first got into combat, I'm talking about the 8th Air Force, uh, and I'm not criticizing our brass, don't misunderstand me, but they had the idea that nobody would dare attack a B-17. Well, our brass was wrong. After you dropped your bombs, you would head for back to England, and the fighters would come back. ME-109, Stockholm's one night. And then you'd hit railroad flak batteries. We lost many more planes, many more planes by flak than we did by German fighters. Uh, because you couldn't get away from the flak. You couldn't get away from it. You had to fly straight and level into the target and just take it, take it. The, uh, when you flew, it was really scary to look ahead and know you're going to go through that stuff. From the minute we take off, we know we're in danger. Uh, but what made it successful was you're together as a crew for so long that you become a second family. You lived and died together. And you were good, great friends. I'm speaking Air Force now. I can't talk about Navy. I can't talk about the Marines. But the esprit de corps between, uh, in the Air Force itself, uh, was, it was a family. And I, to tell you the truth, without combat, I enjoyed every minute of it, every minute. I felt it was an honor to be in the Air Corps. I, and I, I really wanted to be a pilot. I, you know, I, my idols were guys like Jimmy Doolittle, you know. The 8th Air Force did a terrific job. There isn't any question about it. it. Did a terrific job. And its job was to bring Germany down by the use of air power. And uh, we, we, we beat those guys. We destroyed 100% of the coke and coal industry in Germany, 95% of the manufacturing, 90% of the uh, oil refineries, and we shot down, uh, we shot down 5,500 enemy planes and destroyed another 4,500 on the ground. You have no idea the, the power uh, of, of uh, let's say, thousands of bombers at the same time. But I was there, and, and part of the greatest Air Force that was ever put together. There'll never be another one like it, because we don't need gigantic Air Forces any longer. But that was not without cost. We lost 10,000 airplanes and crews. So, I, at the end of the war, I got to fly, we called it the Tour of the Ruhr. And on those Audubons, all you could see was our equipment. Tanks, armored trucks, and everything else. And we would fly real low level, a couple hundred feet, and we let the Germans know that, hey, this is all over.